There are some famous moments in Hendrix's iconography. One would be when he lit his guitar on fire at the Monterey Pop Festival in 1967, summoning the flames higher with his fingers. Another would be when he performed the Star Spangled Banner at the Woodstock Festival in 1969, dressed in the iconic American red, white and blue as his guitar wailed and screeched the sounds of war. Hey friends, today I want to talk about Jimi Hendrix. Specifically, I want to talk about his sense of style, his fashion, his aesthetic choices. I want to make the argument that you can't separate Hendrix's fashion from his music. I believe that both his music and his fashion were deeply intertwined. They were both ways in which he expressed himself. They were both a part of his lifestyle. I don't think Hendrix really saw a demarcation between being on stage and simply living everyday life. It seems like he dressed like this all the time. If you look up pictures of Hendrix, you'll notice some patterns in the way that he dressed. He liked colours, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, purple, all the colours of the rainbow found their way into Hendrix's wardrobe. His choices were psychedelic and bold. It was perhaps emblematic of the anti-war, peace and love counterculture that Hendrix was co-creating in the 60s, but even then, his choices were bolder than most. Hendrix loved to accessorize. He wore a lot of jewelry, rings, necklaces, bracelets, pendants, medallions, you name it, Hendrix probably had it. He comes across as a kind of magic man, a shaman, a witch doctor. When I read quotes about Hendrix's religious, spiritual and political beliefs, he strikes me as a sort of homebrew, DIY sort of guy. So it's not surprising that his fashion choices are all over the place. People throw around the word eclectic a lot, but Hendrix actually was eclectic. The hussar jacket is military in origin, similar to the dress jackets that Hungarian officers used to wear. The vest is likely of Afghan origin, you'll also find similar patterns in Turkey and other parts of the Middle East. The beads and jewellery he wore seem to range everywhere from Oriental to Middle Eastern. The sun medallion has a distinctly Aztec flavour to it. So all in all, I would say that Hendrix had a maximalist, larger-than-life aesthetic. It came through in his fashion choices and came through in his music. He was someone who was always pushing boundaries. He didn't feel obliged to be limited by what was conventional or familiar. I sometimes like to joke that if you want to play like Hendrix, you have to dress like Hendrix. And by that, I don't mean that you have to copy his wardrobe. You have to figure out your own, as guided by your own taste and intuition. Thank you.